at destoning took a long while i can't believe that even with three day seasons on here we push for time to do everything it is still taking a significant amount of time to get through here and time is running away hello and welcome along and welcome back to no man's land we are Heading up to our two top fields today because it's mid-October and we need to get these fields destoned and then seeded with next year's barley. So heading up here, yeah, you can see our fields are um, full of stones at the moment. Absolutely useless for us to do that. So useless for us to go and get them uh, seeded like this because it will just destroy our equipment. Plus... Uh, using the stones uh, from here, we'll be able to make a bit of money. Now, we are back in negative figures again, so I don't think that our production is going to be running. We did manage to produce 7,000 litres of stones, though. Oh, 7,000 litres of lime. Uh, sorry. So, yeah, we managed to get that through and uh, do that, which is great news. We should be able to get these stones processed come... The winter time when we get some more money in uh but at the moment we're sitting fairly pretty we're we're doing quite well as it stands we just need to get the stones off here load them into our stone crusher and uh get the barley in because next game day what i want to do is get our grass field cut again and create some more silage bales coming up to about halfway through the first field and this is probably going to be the job that takes us the most time today. We are uh, going to be picking stones on here. We're going to be seeding and then we're going to be rolling. I'm expecting this to be the longest. I'm expecting the seeding to take uh, a little bit less time because of the width of the cedar. And then the actual rolling. We've got a nice wide roller. So it should be a fairly quick job to get that done. We've only got about 8% of our stone picker full at the moment. And there seems to be less stones on here at this time than we had last time. I wonder if there is sort of diminishing returns on that. Seeing as we are plowing these fields every time. I'd be really interested to see if that's the case. And see if we actually end up with fewer stones every time we plow these. It would be a really interesting little touch. Because of course... There are only so many rocks in the ground and uh, you keep plowing and you're eventually just going to diminish how many you're picking up each time or pulling out each time uh, if you're pulling them off the field like this. So, uh, yeah, we will we will see as time goes on. This is only our second go round, though, on these fields. So uh, it's going to be some time, I think. But I'm fairly sure we had more stones off here last uh, last year when we set these fields up and so we'll keep an eye on that and see how much we get i put the top end of the field now we've only got 16 percent stones it's a really low amount that we've got off this field this time uh surprises the hell out of me i was expecting a a much larger haul having done the plowing on here but yeah it is only 386 liters which is a lot less compared to our other two fields our other two fields were much much higher with the stone content i mean we made 7,000 liters of lime off those two fields and it's a a two to one ratio roughly i think between them so i am very surprised uh, that we have, have a lot fewer on here. However, uh, we are still going to be making some lime from these and selling that. So that should all be good. Uh, we don't have to cover every inch of this field. Just make sure that we get everywhere where there are stones. Uh, and I think we've just about done that at this point. We've got to go round the top of the field. But there's not a huge amount of extra stones on here. And we should be able to just loop around the top. Yeah, we've got this this top little odd section to do. But once we've cleared this off and cleared the other uh, headland off, we should be okay. In fact, I just want to check because I think I've got all the patches off the top of this field. Let's have a quick look at the map and see the stone setup. 
Yeah, we've only got some down this headland here. So um, we don't need to do anything more on the top end of this field, really. There's a lot more stones on this second field. You can see it's just absolutely rammed with them. So uh, that's a little bit different. I I think a lot of the stones that we got last time came off here as opposed to the other field, maybe. Maybe that's the thing. It's... I don't know what it is at the moment that governs how many stones get pulled up on a certain section of the map. It's very, very odd, the difference between each bit. Uh, we got one or two fields. We get fields sometimes that pull up a lot of stones. We get some that don't pull up many. And yeah, I don't know what governs that. But certainly we've got a lot more stones on this field. Uh, than we had on the other one a minute ago. I mean, we're already up to 25% on here. At the end of the last field, we'd hit 18, 19%. Uh, we are now about double that. So, yeah, this field has a lot more stones. Uh, we've had as many stones in this section of the field going down from the top as we have had on the entirety of the other field. So this is more like it. This is this is going to generate us a lot more lime, uh, which is always good. Does mean that we're fairly busy on the rest of this field, and we are going to have to cover pretty much every inch of it in order to get all these stones up because they are everywhere. But it is going to pay us really well in the long run. If we get one and a half thousand liters off this field. That actually is going to translate really well. We could end up with uh, about 3,000 litres of lime from processing this. Uh, that will be 10,000 litres of lime in total because we have 7,000 in there already. Uh, and yeah, that would, that would bring us in a whole lot of money because lime is worth quite a bit. I think it's worth like 4,000 uh, per thousand liters or something uh, for us to sell, which is uh, which is brilliant. Uh, we'll make a, make us a lot of money, uh, which would be good. We can't. Well, we could buy it and sell it for that, but um, yeah, somebody did say that. Oh, that would that sort of amounts to cheating. But we've got. We've got things like we can't do any contracts or anything like that on here. So creating what we can from our land and selling it at the price that it is sold for on the map. Um, I, I don't consider that cheating. I, I think very much that that is using uh, the game as we should. Uh, if I was to buy lime and then sell it for a profit, that I would consider cheating. But actually processing stuff off the land and selling it, I think that's fine. Um, and is, uh, yeah, we're on a map here where we can't actually get any contracts uh, is going to make a difference, especially as it takes us longer to go and plow these fields and then pickle the stones off these fields as well. It, uh, it, it makes sense that we should actually make a profit from doing that. Coming to the end of the field now, and there isn't a huge amount left. We've got a little bit in this corner. We should be able to get all of this picked up. Uh, and we've just gone over one and a half thousand liters. Fantastic. Uh, that is going to create... Well, we're going to go over the 10,000 liters with our lime. Which is brilliant. That is going to make a big, big difference to the farm. And, uh, yeah, bring us in a load of money. Yeah, there we go. Oh, are we going to get up as high as 1,600? That would be cool. It's just trying to get these last few bits we got down the bottom here. Right, so, last few sets of stones. And there we go. So, that is uh, uh, 1,571 litres of stones. Uh, let's head back to the yard and get these tipped into our lime or our stone crusher. Now, as we're out of money, this won't actually process these at the moment. But that's not a problem because we don't need to process them quite yet. We're looking to get these processed 
uh, just in time for the top selling price. So let's tip those into there. And while we're doing that, let's take a look at the price for lime. Where is that? That's down here. Uh, that is... 1,637, but it reaches 2,890 in February. So that's when we're looking to sell it. It goes down as far as 403. We're, we're sitting about the halfway point at the moment, which, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're not looking to sell till February. But when we do, that is going to bring us in a huge amount of cash. Uh, now, though, we need to switch this out for our cedar and uh, get that to work doing some seeding of the barley so hook up the cedar there we go how much seed have we got in it not a lot and we've got two bags at the back all right so let's bring this out here we'll unhook it and get it loaded up go down i'm very aware of the limited amount of time that we have today it's already five past two, and we've got not just this to do, but also the rolling. So let's bring this in here. That destoning took a long while. I can't believe that even with three day seasons on here, we push for time to do everything uh, that we're doing. Whereas on our vineyard, we're only just about to go to two day seasons, uh, two day months. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're we're not in a position at the moment where we need to have any more time than that on there, which is just odd, because we are really really pushed to uh, to get that done. The rain has stopped as well, so that's good news. There should be plenty of seed in here to do this. Yep, 17 liters left in the bag. I love how those bags shrink as they have less seed in them. It's just fantastic. Right, and then down. Drop that off. Uh, we'll drop this back off over here. Like so. We will then drop the weight down and drop that off over here. So that's nice and accessible for us. There we go. And as always, at the moment, we're going to leave the front loader on the front. Because, as was pointed out, it's not something that you'd readily take off. It would be a real pain in the butt to go and do that with. So, there. Lock that on. There we go. Up. Close up the back. And out to our field. I'm trying to keep an eye on the repair level of my tractor at the moment. We are... We're not great. We need, uh, we're going to need some repairs. Our front loader is even worse. So, yeah, when we, uh, when we get some money in, we're going to have to repair both the tractor and the front loader. And based on previous experience, neither of those are going to be cheap things to do. Uh, right, we've got barley selected. Let's just double check that. Yep, barley is what we are seeding. So, let's start this up. Drop it down. And the angle we're going at is 260 degrees. So, uh, yeah, let's try and keep on that line. Well, we're definitely getting through this quicker. It is still taking a significant amount of time to get through here. And time is running away. It is now 20 to 4 in the afternoon. And look at this. We are about halfway through the first field. Uh, it is going well. We've still got 76% of our seeds. I think we're going to go and fill up before we start the second field because uh, I'd be surprised if we were left with more than 50%. And I think the other field is ever so slightly bigger than this one. So as a result, if we don't refill this with seeds before we go and do the second field, uh, we are going to find ourselves in a position where we have to do it halfway through the field anyway. So it makes sense to me to go and refill. Uh, if we can get the right amount of seeds into it, though, uh, that would work out pretty well for us. There we go. And, yeah, the barley is going in well. It's going at the right time of year as well, so this should germinate in time. And 
uh, give us a reasonable time frame to be harvesting this. It's not going to be an early uh, harvest for this. It'll be the probably the second month uh, for harvesting it. But it should still be fairly good as far as that concern is concerned. And yeah, our farm, our farm is going into its third year uh, looking fairly strong. It's 20 to 5 now and we've got to the point where we're doing the headland. We've got a little bit to fill in at the top end of this field. But we are getting a bit tight to get the rest of everything done today. Um, what I am, I'm not too worried. Uh, the rolling, as I said at the start, is not something that is going to take a huge amount of time. Uh, what it is going to mean, though, is that we then have to squeeze that into the next day. And with having to squeeze that in, uh, we would be ending up doing a lot of stuff with the grass work. We need to do the grass work next say, uh, game day in order to ensure that we get three cuts of silage next year. So uh, if, I, if I don't get everything done... Uh, next game day, we are looking at having a bit of trouble. Um, but, as I said, it's a quick job. And as long as we get all this barley seeded today, we'll be okay. We do just need to get all this barley seeded today. Otherwise, yeah, that is going to be a big problem. One field down and one to go. It is 12 minutes past Five, though and we need to go and refill with seed because we are down to 45 percent so yeah we'll go refill with and some more seed uh before we head back down here and get this second field done it doesn't look like we're going to be getting any rolling done today though so once again the sun is setting and <laughs> we've got well we have got a full seeder. Let's see if we can actually get this field seeded before it gets too late. But man, that is... I can't believe how quickly it's getting dark at this time of year. The sun has dropped below the horizon and it's got really, really dark really, really quickly. As a result, there's not a lot I think you guys can see anymore. So what I'm going to do is get this finished off and get this planted um, off camera so that we're not doing this next time. And, uh, and yeah, I think we're going to leave this here for now because... It's just impossible to see what's going on. I love this sunset. It is utterly gorgeous, but I can hardly see where we are on the field. So, let's get this row started. And then I'm going to leave this here. So, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.